Hey everybody, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we're doing an inexpensive shark wall hanging. It's going to have kind of an old rustic look to it. It's going to be inexpensive, it's going to be easy, and I think it'll be fun. Now while you're here, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and um, a big thumbs up for this video would be appreciated. For this craft, I'm going to be using some inexpensive plywood. We're going to go out to the garage and use my new saw that I love. And I promise this won't be all woodworking all the time, but I am going to be working some more wood into my projects in the future. And if you want to know more about the saw that I'm using or the stain colors, I will have all of that in the description below. You can always find more information over on my website as well. And if you are crafting anything, be sure to go over to my Facebook page and share what you're doing. It doesn't have to be anything inspired by what I'm doing. I just love to see what you guys are up to. I drew some shark, a shark, out on a piece of paper and then I scanned it into my computer and I sized it different sizes, printed it out on cardstock in different sizes. I will have that image available to you and you can find it in the description below. I also drew a shark fin and cut that out on cardstock as well. This just gives me a little bit of a stronger template. You can do a paper or cardboard version of this if you would like. I'm going to do it out of wood. So let's head out to the garage and get started on it. pieces all cut out now I'm gonna stain them I'm gonna start with these two pieces if you watched my video on the shark coasters then you know exactly what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna use that same color combination on the thin and the medium shark that's gonna be the aqua stain with the weathered gray so you wipe it on now we don't have any details on this that we need to worry about covering up so we don't have to rush to wipe it off but we certainly do want to wipe it off in a timely manner <laughs> Now, I don't let it dry. I just will move right on to the weathered gray and put that right on top of it. Now, the two remaining sharks, I want those to have a contrasting color. So I'm going to go with this walnut. I'm going to cut the color by using that gray again. So I should have put the holes in before I stained it, but you know, sometimes you're just not thinking and that's what happens. So I'm going to do it now. Now we can put a protective finish on it and I'm just using a polyacrylic um, finish. And I will do at least two coats of this. All of our pieces are cut out and I have the holes drilled where I need them. And I'm using this very thin aged gold wire. I'm gonna feed it through. And this is supposed to have a very rustic look to it, so this wire is pretty perfect for that. I'm going to guess maybe a 22 to 24 gauge. I'm going to snip some off. If you play some where you want them, you're going to have a pretty good idea of how much wire you need. And once you have it all together, all you need are these little triangle hangers. And they have other things too that, that would work as well. Um, it's very lightweight, so you could even do like the command hook tape. You can glue a piece of wire on the back. Now these have nails that are going to be too thick for this plywood that I use, so definitely don't use those. I'm going to just glue it on with a little bit of ultimate glue. Here's so you can see what it looks like. And then you can just hang it up on the wall. Here it is all finished. We've got the big shark, the medium, and the little shark. So up against a wall, that'd be great. There's a contrast up against the cabinet, and the stains picked up the wood grain really nicely. Let me know what you think of the shark wall hanging in the comments below, and if you haven't yet, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. 
Thank you for sharing and for commenting and giving me a thumbs up. I appreciate it more than you know. And remember, you can find me, obviously, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Instagram, all over the place. Those links are all in the description below as well. So I will definitely see you next time. In the meantime, you guys, remember, life's too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe.